All right, Mike, uh, this is Scott in Mooresville, North Carolina. I told you I'd shoot this quick video on what I use to sharpen my chainsaw. Um, all this is is a piece of marine plywood. It's three quarter, seven ply. These are um, four by four is cedar, four by four is treated, two by sixes. I tried to make a little more out of this thing than it is but it was getting too complicated, so I decided to keep it simple. Um, I'll show you how I do this, and hopefully it'll help some people. So I'm gonna give the phone to Luis. All right, so I take my saw, put it in here like this. I shove it backwards. Um, I usually take a magic marker and a mark a tooth, so I know where I started. I know guys that know what you're doing, you can do it. Anyway, so, like you said, you had the two-in-one tool. I like this tool a lot. I use it all the time. Um, for some reason, can you get in here, Luis, right here? For some reason, it won't go far enough underneath the tooth, and it doesn't do a good enough job of sharpening it. So, what I do is I take a hand file, and I'm going to hand file a couple of strokes on it, um, a lot of guys, you see them clamping this into a vise, and then they come around this side of the saw and sharpen this way. I don't like doing that. That's why I built this. That's why I built this goofy setup because I like being. I like facing the bar. So, okay. So here's here's I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna take, and I'm gonna hog out my tooth okay now so that actually gets down in the gullet a little bit better okay but hand filing I don't care how good you are I in my opinion you won't be as straight as this now when I use my two-in-one tool I try and sight down from the top of here to the bottom of here to make sure that I'm level like this and then I try and stay at that exact 30 degree angle. Um, a lot of people say go five degrees this way, five degrees that way, five degrees this way, that way. I find that level works the best. So, and then as far as push pulling, that's up to you. Um, you'll get the hang of it. I like to, I, I don't like going all the way to the end of the tool because it seems to start coming off the tooth at that point. So this is all I do. Um, now, this works excellent. Um, the more you sharpen the chain with this, the higher it rides up on the tooth and the less it will get into there. So you really need to take your file and come in here and hog this out and then come back with the two-on-one tool. I made this goofy thing. I jam it into um, my tailgate right here. And then when I go to do the left side, I just take this thing over this way, like this, and that way when I turn my tool this way and I start putting pressure on these teeth in this direction, it's bound against the truck that way. One other thing that I love, this is for my RC truck, and it's killer for putting gas in your chainsaw. So you take it, stick it upside down into your gas can, squeeze it, suck it out, and then you can pour it in there without spilling. So that's another tip. So that's my super simple thing I built. It works great. Uh, I had all the tools, all the grinders, didn't like none of them, love this. I'm not good enough to hand file. So hand file first, come back with the tool and it works really well. And that's it.